must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. There is room for Bruce and Batman inside that. Seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. Mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been what? 20 years. Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? 
That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Thank you, sir. you, but no Oz. Hey. Beat it. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're... Oh. In the moment! Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? Oh. Oh. Stay down! Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no offense. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. 
And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought... Bruce Wayne. Ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce! Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. 
Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham Asylum mm -hmm. is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, a. Uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? How long has your family been Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor.
Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? It's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. So, consider yourself served. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this! I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. Stay out of this, Miss Vale. There are enough reporters eviscerating my family's legacy. I want to restore their legacy. The Waynes are synonymous with Gotham. You deserve better treatment than this. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get to go after a Wayne. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear.
You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? 
I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is... personal. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. Ah, huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry, I'm a solo act. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You are really starting to piss me off. Oh, there you are. I was hoping you'd come out and play. Write it down, now. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. <laughs> 